the gains that we've seen with the, the flexibility from job to job and also the capacity that we've gained for our customers is yeah, it's been um, a great benefit for us. We're here at DP Engineering in Red Roof. Just to talk about, I see these MX330s all over the place. They've, they've been popping up on machine shops up and down the country now, Phil. Yeah. Before we talk about the MX, could you just tell us what DP do and what kind of parts you make? Yeah, no problems. Uh, so DP, we're at David Paul um, Engineering. Um, obviously, we're based down in Cornwall. We've been going since 1952, so a long time now. Uh, it's actually our 70th year this year, um, which we're all, um, obviously pleased about. Um, we're a subcontract engineering company. Uh, main industries that we deal with, aerospace, oil and gas, and then through the COVID period, we've been in a lot of medical um, items as well. Okay, so what kind of parts do you make in those sectors and what kind of volumes are you doing that would warrant a machine like this? Uh, volumes wise, we class ourselves as a kind of a, a low volume mix, um, so not so much in the high volume camp. Um, but typically with this MX30 now, we're going from batches from a one off, maybe up to 200 offs. Which is amazing that with such a high productivity machine, you can still achieve those one offs and those low mixes because you can't. You can't rely on a 10,000 off order. No, that's if, it. If you're a yeah. subcontractor. So can you just explain what machine did you have before that was in this space and what size did it take up? Uh, yeah, no problem at all. We used to have a um, horizontal Matsura. Um, we used to call it a bit of a workhorse within um, um, our manufacturing facility. The footprint was a lot larger than what this MX30 is now. Um, so we've kind of reduced that down. So obviously for us, the floor space utilization is key. So this has definitely helped us with our, our, our space and what we need to get out of the building. So, yeah, so you replaced an old horizontal. What, what made you go from another M an MX330, again from Matsura? We are quite keen on Matsura. We've, um, obviously, we've been with them for quite a long time. We've got a good working relationship with them. Um, the engineering team are quite keen on the Matsura machines. Um, one of the points was the Matsura Blue. Um, they're quite keen on the Matsura Blue, which is um, obviously great. But for us, it's the fifth axis um, element that we brought into it. With the, with the 10 pallet loading, which will open up our capability with the unmanned running. It seems to be there's, there's a lot of points to this machine that you, it was kind of a, a fantastic package in one setup, because you yeah. needed the five axis, you needed the high productivity, because you're replacing what was already quite a high productivity machine. It was, yeah. So, so what, does, what does the Matsura do that you couldn't do before in the horizontal? Uh, probably the horizontal that we had and what the change this has brought to us is this has made us be able to do a lot of the complex jobs um, more repeats over batch to batch. Um, we go back to the batch size where we've gone from one to 200. Obviously, if you've got a 200 batch going through, we're, we're confident now with the, uh, with the repeatability that we can go home at the um, end of the night, just monitor it on our system and just see the machine still running through the night, come back, all those components are done. We have that confidence now with the ability with the sister tooling and the internal probing that we can come back and have good parts. How long did it take you to build that confidence in the machine though, to be able to trust that it would make good parts even when no one's watching it? That is a good, that's a good question. Uh, so we've had it for all around six months now. Um, from the initial install, um, we were cut and met within four weeks. Right. Now that was only on one job. Um, we are still learning now day to day what we've got to do. Um, it's still new to us, there's still new technology there which we haven't used. But the gains that we've seen with the, the flexibility from job to job, um, and also the capacity that we've gained for our customers is, it, yeah, it's been um, a great benefit for us. I find it fascinating that you guys, like you say, you're a low volume, high mix subcontractor. Some people in that position might feel locked in with such a high volume machine. Do you feel, is it really flexible enough for you? It, it is because you could take one job and have it running 24 hours through the night. So, you know, that's a gain itself you have from this machine. Um, or you can utilize the 10 pallets and have 10 different jobs. Um, so you come back the next morning and have 10 different complete jobs ready for you know, inspection the next morning. So yes, you could have one job running for a whole week, but you could also have 10 different jobs running for a whole week. So uh, yeah, the flexibility for us both with the different jobs and also being able to move jobs around our shop floor has given us that ability. Okay, brilliant. So have you seen an effect on, on have your customers seen a benefit from you adopting this new technology? Uh, with regards to our lead time getting the components out, yes, there's, de there's definitely been a benefit there. Obviously, quality, we, we make the print, we've got to make to our customer requirements anyway, so we will make to the drawn requirements. But yeah, I think the biggest thing is probably our lead time and the capacity that this has actually opened up. Okay, so to increase the machine capacity while reducing the envelope and also no compromise on part quality, it's all about the MX330 from Matsura. We've seen these up and down the country, it's obvious why.